going on guys? My name is Shane. We're back with another Pregnancy Diaries. It's been a long time, guys. <laughs> the reason that I haven't been posting Pregnancy Diaries on a weekly schedule is because things have just be kind of come really, really repetitive. Um, I didn't want to come on every week and make an entire video telling you guys that not much has been changing. The only major things is that I'm experiencing some serious heartburn at this point in my pregnancy and I'm just getting really big. I will show you guys like my ba my baby bump and everything but as you guys can tell by the title today's um, video heavily relies on my baby shower which actually happens to be um, the day that I'm filming in a couple of hours we're gonna have my baby shower um, and I'm super excited I honestly didn't think when I got pregnant this time that I would be having one because I always thought that it was like you only got one for your first child and then my mom said no like that you know that was kind of an old school thing but everybody does it for every child now so I you know I I wasn't expecting it but it also wasn't a surprise. I knew about it. Um, that's why I'm ready <laughs> and everything. I've known about it for a while. I did a vlog which has already come out showing you guys me registering for the baby shower. So um, that was a lot of fun. So I'm curious to see what I got on my registry and then like what other things that people are going to bring and stuff. So what we're going to kind of do is I'll probably do like a little music montage um, maybe of some of the stuff at my baby shower. It's not going to be anything crazy it's at my mom's house it's just with family so you know I'll show you guys like the food and dessert and and stuff like that but then we'll come back later in the week definitely won't be able to today today was daylight saving so we lost an hour of daylight I'm all it's it's not even 3 30 yet and I'm already struggling <laughs> with finding outdoor natural lighting so I definitely won't be able to come later tonight and show you guys what I actually got but one of the mornings this week I will um, put some time aside to film for you guys. Possibly Tuesday because I actually have um, an OBGYN appointment as well. So I might include that in this pregnancy diaries because I like to kind of keep all things pregnancy in these sort of videos. So you might see uh, my OBGYN, I have to leave about, about nine. So maybe I can have TJ drop my daughter off at school that day so I can sit down with you guys in the morning, show you what I got, um, and then we can go right to the appointment from there. I was supposed to have this appointment on Halloween. I talked about it in an earlier vlog. Um, I have to have more blood work done and it's my glucose test and I have to get my Rogan shot as well. So I'm not <laughs> looking forward to it by any means, but I might just include my experience um, and kind of like mash this video all into one sort of appointment and baby shower video. So with that being said, I'm going to head downstairs for a little while. I got some time to kill before the baby shower. Again, I'll bring you guys along and then honestly, I'm more so excited. Like I don't really like opening presents in front of people. <laughs> I feel like it's super boring for people to watch you open presents, but is that a dog in the window or is that a person? I hope it's a dog. <laughs> you can see what I can see right now. It's just, anyways, um, what I'm most excited about is seeing um, I did go on my registry and I did see a couple of the gifts that were purchased. I don't know who purchased them, but any registry will show you like some gifts that were purchased. Um, and one thing that I saw was one of the bouncers that I picked out during my registry and I'm just really excited. Like I want to put it together. Maybe we'll do that Tuesday. I want to put it together. I want to see it. Like I think it's going to make the pregnancy seem so much more real. Just to let you guys know, I will push this out today happens to be a Sunday but I like to post these videos on Sunday so you're gonna see this exactly a week from today so the time that the moment that you're seeing I am 28 weeks pregnant um, right now currently I'm 27 weeks I always turn a week on Wednesday so between Sunday and Sunday you know obviously I'll be a week um, which will be so exciting because that means I'm also in my third trimester officially at 28 weeks, which oh, guys, I'm 28 weeks pregnant. By the time you see this, that will be true. I'm seven in my seventh month of pregnancy and I'm in my third trimester. 
oh, I'm getting kind of nervous <laughs> a, little, a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling so this video isn't a thousand years long and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hi, Miss Ella. <laughs> hey there. Can you show the camera <laughs> behind it? Okay. <laughs> We're about to get ready for to leave for my baby shower, but I realized I didn't even show you guys my baby bump, so I figured I'll show you that before I completely forget. <laughs> I'm very quickly running out of daylight here, um, but this is a dress that I'm wearing. It's quite long, actually. Um, I just threw on some flats so I could stay comfortable, but here it is. <laughs> 27 weeks. We have popped out quite a bit. Oh yeah, he's very, very active too, so. I just want to make sure I showed you guys, um, but uh, we're leaving in like 50 Mom, minutes, like just under an hour. Okay, okay I gotta go help her. <laughs> camera <laughs> set up here um I literally have like one minute but I have to drink this drink it's a glucose tolerance test beverage I'm supposed to start it at nine which it's nine right now but I have to finish it within five minutes it's a lot <laughs> oh, I got a lemon lime flavor It's actually not bad. All right, I'm just gonna chug this real quick. Okay. Okay, it's kind of bad. Ew. Oh, it's so cold. It's giving my it's hurting my head. Okay. I finished at 9.01. <laughs> that wasn't like bad flavored, but it almost made me want to gag a little bit. Okay, so I can't eat or drink anything until my appointment. Um, I decided that, I know in the first part of the video, I talked to you guys about doing like one big pregnancy diaries where I was going to do like the haul for my baby shower, show you guys the baby shower, and then tell you guys about today's appointment but I got so much from the baby shower that I don't want to like rush and try to squeeze it into one video so what I want to do instead is do like a part one and a part two so this is obviously part one um, so part two is gonna be like the haul so I can actually take my time and go through everything and excuse me show because I got a lot of clothes and stuff so I want to be able to show you a lot of the clothes and again take my time and not feel so rushed to squeeze it into one video. Um, so today's appointment, again, is the glucose test. Um, so I had to start this drink at nine, finish no later than 9.05. So they told me to remember what time I finished. So I finished at 9.01. Um, and then they need to take my blood exactly at 10.01, exactly an hour before so we're gonna leave and by probably 9 15 the latest um get there early so we have time to check in actually get me to the back take my blood um and then after that i'm also getting my rogan shot rogan rogan or rogan i don't know and i don't want to sound uh unintelligent <laughs> but i think it's rogan 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 i don't know i don't know it's um that shot that is going to, just because I have negative blood type, um, I need this shot. So, um, I feel okay. I've talked about before, um, how I feel about giving blood. Um, so I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous, but 
like I'm okay um, because every time I've given blood at the end of it I'm like that wasn't bad that wasn't anything to freak out about like it, it pricked for a second um, the shot itself hurts so much more <laughs> than giving blood um, it's just like one of those things that if you guys have like an irrational fear in your life where you know that your fear can't hurt you or like it's just kind of silly but you can't explain why you fear it. Um, that's me when it comes to blood work. Um, it just skis me out to think about. Like I'm not skeevy with blood or the sight of blood. Um, just the like drawing of blood has always <laughs> just not sitting right with me. Um, so I'm just. Uh, uh, just, I'm just thinking about it a little too much so I just need to not think about it um, go get this appointment done and um, this is probably like my hardest appointment um, I think after this you know the next time I'm gonna be in any sort of pain like that <laughs> will be when I'm giving a birth um, and I'm pretty sure I'll have to get the shot again after my birth depending on the baby's blood type. I think that's how it works, just from my mem memory with my first daughter. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna go get ready. Um, I'm pretty much ready. I just gotta throw my bags together. We're gonna head out to the doctors. Um, I'll update you guys, let you know, you know how it goes, and that will be the end of part one. And then I'll come home today, film part two so that video can get out um, a couple days after this one give you guys a couple days to catch up and um, then I'll have to get my butt, butt to work a little bit later today so I had to find coverage for this morning because my appointments um, again at 10 so okay I um, I don't want to do this <laughs> I don't but it needs to be done so <sighs> okay we got this Okay, so quick update on to part one. They hurt me. <laughs> I had the most embarrassing visit, you guys. It was bad. It was not bad. It was terrible. Um, so they came in and they set me up in the room. And like I said, it was a it was a timed blood draw. I got out of my left hand this time. So the lady's like, oh, well, you know, we'll be back in a couple minutes to draw your blood. And, and before she left, I just wanted to clarify. They need a urine sample, which they get every time I come. But I just told her, I said, you know, I said, I don't know if you're aware, but I always have it taken from the hand from a butterfly needle. So she's like, oh, I do see something like that. I don't take it from the hand, though, so I'll guess someone else. So I had this other woman come in and... They drew my blood from my hand, and I always have had it taken from the right hand, but they took it from the left hand, and it hurt. <laughs> Normally, you know, all I feel is like a little prick, and then I don't feel anything. I really don't feel anything at that point, but like the whole time that they were drawing my blood, it hurt my hand. Um, so they, they released my blood, and at this point, I'm feeling pretty nauseous. <laughs> I started feeling really, really sick. Um, and they're like, oh, that's normal. Like people usually feel that way after like drinking that drink and then having your blood drawn. So I'm lying there and they're like listening for the heartbeat. Another doctor came in that I haven't met yet. She started listening for the heartbeat and I'm like, like I'm really, she could tell. She asked me, she's like, are you feeling okay? And I said, not really. And they didn't want me to get up. They said like, it's better if you just stay there when people are feeling dizzy. So the doctor leaves and I'm stuck with the medical assistant and TJ's in there. And I told the medical assistant like, I, it's coming up. <laughs> I'm like, can I please use the restroom? I really have to. As Soon as my knees hit the floor, it came out. He's eating my saltines. <laughs> it came out and it was so embarrassing. The doctor came back in and I'm red as anything. I'm still like shaking a little bit from the whole thing. Um, so they gave me saltines, they gave me some juice and I felt much better after just like letting out what I had to let out. Um, and then they came back in like a few minutes later and they gave me, it's called a Rogam, Rogam shot. Um, just Isn't making sure, <laughs> <laughs> just making sure that like nothing, I'm not giving away any, um, like important information to you guys but you can see down here the name of the shot you can see my blood pressure and stuff what was done today um so 
now my appointments they were every four weeks and now they're every two weeks so i'll be seeing them oh shoot did i already lose the card that sounds about right i got a little oh it's one next two weeks oh i got it. it's under my yeah they gave me a new little appointment card so i need to go back on uh the end of this month 11 20 so um, every two weeks up until I think 36 weeks and then after that it's every week so, until the baby's here so that's exciting <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching part one again if you want to see part two that's going to be entirely the part two part two is the haul of the baby shower stuff oh so if you guys want to see what I got from my baby shower, there's a ton of really cute newborn clothes and stuff that I'm excited to show you guys. So that will be part two. I'll have that out in a couple of days, but we're going to go have some, we're going to go have some lunch because everything I just ate came up <laughs> and I got to fix the thigh lash. <laughs> Why aren't you natural?